One of the hottest looks that we've seen this season, 2009 at Spring Fashion Week, is Ben Shicky Jeans. It was a very rock and roll after hours, Sunset Boulevard, you know, Viper Room, you know, been up all night, really, really intense kind of black smoky eye. In fashion and in beauty, we're always trying to update, we're always trying to be modern. So what we're gonna do that's really fun this time is we're gonna definitely do the black, give her that smolder, but we're gonna pop gold on the inner corner just to give her something a little more edgy, something a little more current and up to date. We're gonna start off with Caviar Cream Liner from our Proof Cream Eyeliner Palette with our number 15 brush. Now number 15 brush is so incredible because it's beveled, cornered, tipped, so it gives you a lot of intense color with your application. Start in the lash line, deposit the color, move back and forth, and move it over her lid. Now, with this look, I am giving her a bit of a cat eye, so I'm gonna move it back and forth and lift it right on the outer corner. Just so when she opens her eyes, you see that pop of smolder, that dark color that comes right over the outer corner of the eye. How I start usually is in the outer corner of the lid because the most amount of product, when you pick up product on a brush, that's the first deposit of color. It's gonna be your densest application of color. So always start in the outer corner of the eye and move in. Move back and forth and then move up on the lid. Next step, we're taking our number 10 brush and we're using our blackout shadow, which is a matte shade. So we're gonna give her that really, really intense black smolder. I'm applying the color, just lightly dusting it over the lid and moving it over the previously applied cream liner and just wisping it up in the corner to give her a little bit of an edge here. So now we're gonna move again back to our cream eyeliner in Caviar. We're using a brush number 20 and I'm obsessed with this brush and you're gonna see why real quick. Now we start in the outer corner of the eye because we want the density and the thickness at the outer corner of the eye. Now initial deposit of color right there and if you see, look at that. Perfect cat, kind of like really, really, really intense smolder in the outer corner of the eye and then gradually fade the color to where it tapers into the lash line and virtually disappears. Now we're taking Blackout Shadow with number 15 Definer Brush and basically same application. We're gonna fuzz the Blackout Shadow over the cream liner and really intensify and give her that drop down, sexy smolder, super, super rock and roll. I really wanna amp it up with our Jet Set Liner. I'm gonna use our number 20 brush and I'm going to pull her eye down just a little bit right here and I'm gonna work in small sections. The reason this brush is so crucial when applying this product is if you see, I'm pulling the eye down, it really coats the inner rim, coats all the pink skin, so nothing shows through it. The thing is you wanna work in small sections, you're not gonna get everything all at once. So, having Bianca look up, I always wanna connect because we want the eye to be encased in black liner. I take our number 20 brush, and I gently touch right in that inner area there. So we connect lashes, so everything looks cohesive, blending, moving all together. So you have black liner encasing the entire eye so you don't see any pink skin showing through. We wanna create some contrast, so we're using 24 karat. It's an intense gold. And I'm gonna take our number 15 brush again because I wanna pack color in. So if you see my motion that I'm using in, I'm not washing, I'm packing. I'm pressing, I'm tapping. So we get nice intensity. So we get something a little different, something a little more edgy. So now we're gonna move into mascara, which is key again. We're using Bionic and Black. This look, I'm gonna move her lashes out to the outer corner to keep the whole kind of flow of the eye moving out to the outer corners and kind of giving more of a cat eye effect. This is how I sort of make it wing up. I'll pull the brow up just a little bit. I'll turn my mascara wand this way because it's coated with product. And I'm gonna comb through the lashes and get them really coated up. So we almost get a clumpy effect. So this is a great trick, taking your mascara on the end of the mascara and really just moving it into the lashes. This is an insider tip. Skin after eyes, when you're doing this dark, dramatic look, you wanna you know, clean up the skin, make sure that the, the fallout is cleaned up and perfect skin in certain areas so we have a nice clean palette. Basically what we're gonna do is touch her skin up and make her skin look you know, clean under her eyes. So basically we're gonna take a foundation brush with high def and just brush it a little bit under the eyes just to clean around the eye area so we don't look too smoldered out here. Where we apply it is the T-zone, areas of concern, right here around the nose, right here, bridge of the nose, a tiny bit on the forehead, a little bit on the chin, just to even out areas that have a little bit of redness. Okay, so we have a lot going on here with the eyes. So the cheeks, we're gonna keep it minimal. We're gonna do a nice contour. We're gonna use our blush, rush, and bear. Ooh, which, oh, I like that. You need this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're gonna get it after. Uh, we're using brush number 16, and I'm just going to contour her. 
You know, normally we'd apply lipstick with a lip brush, but since we have so much going on in the eyes, and again, we want this to look undone, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Captivating our Photo Finish lipstick, take my finger, and just pat it into the lip. So she gets that nice, nude, kind of sexy, worn and torn. I didn't sit in the mirror and fuss with my lipstick. Nude, sexy lip. Now I'm a gloss freak, so we do need to apply a little bit of gloss on the lip. So I'm taking a Loom, which is one of our beigey, beautiful glosses, and I'm just gonna touch her right in the center here and give her a little shine. So going back to our sexy rock and roll look for Spring 09, one of the hottest looks we saw this season was we started off with Caviar Cream Liner with our number 15 brush on the lid, worked with the natural eye, kind of lifted and gave her a cat eye effect. Then we went to Blackout Shadow, one of our matte shades. We used our number 10 brush and just packed it in over the eye to create that really intense black smolder. What we did is we took our Jet Set Liner, we lined the inner rim and gave her that really, really intense, intense, sexy smolder. Took a 24 karat shadow with a number 15 brush, punched it in the inner eye to give her a little edge, give her something else in that typical black smolder. Then what we did is we perfected her skin with just a little bit of high def foundation, T-zone, forehead, a little on the chin. Took one of our blush rushes and bare. We just gave her a nice soft contour with a number 16 brush. And then we applied captivating lipstick with our finger and a little bit of a loom gloss to give her that worn and torn sexy rock and roll vibe.